Hey internet, it's your girl Liv. And I know it has been a minute since I have posted anything on this channel, uh, but I just got back from a run and I just wanted to quickly give you guys my thoughts, feelings regarding this upcoming year, 2023. Um, I am the type of person where I don't like to set, I don't necessarily like to set new year, new year resolutions. I like to look at what habits do I think I should change and what areas do I think need to kind of be a bigger focus. And I try to do that every season, not just every year. Um, but I will say, as someone who I was training for a half marathon last year, right? And we had this thing called um, a hurricane and um, I wasn't running the hurricane in Florida, but I was supposed to run one in Maine with a couple of friends and it got canceled and I spent a good part of summer training for it. Was I in the best tip top shape to run it? No. Was I mad that I got canceled or I didn't run it? No. Um, and since then, um, I mean, I've been working out every now and then, but I've, I got really sick. Now I'm trying to get my body back to being healthy i kind of tend to push it a little too much um sometimes sometimes and end up either injuring myself like i did um and i haven't really had like a serious injury just kidding because i got into a car accident like before covid and hurt my foot but apart from that like i haven't gotten an injury like from working out in a really long time and I'm happy about that, but it's just still annoying. So with that being said, um, here's just like a couple of things that I think can help with achieving your new year resolution. The first one I think should go without saying, but the first one is, is don't want, don't get discouraged if you are not seeing results right away. Um, what you should focus on is creating habits. So, okay, I think it's going to be too much for me to, if I try to go to the gym every single day, um, I'm going to go to the gym every single day for a week and then I'm not going to go again because I'm going to be tired. Um, try to start off like you are, you are not sprinting. You are doing something to better yourself long term hopefully for the rest of your life so that being said start off i think it's important to start off with like small things right like for example when i get back into running like i just did i do not go from not running at all to running 30 40 minutes every single day i go start running 15 minutes a couple of times a week and then increase, you know, maybe every other one to 30 and then start building it up that way. Um, and I also think it's really, really important for people to recognize that progress is never going to be linear. Um, if you have not worked out for the past couple of months and you are now going to working out a couple times a week, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you probably are not going to feel good like consistently working out for almost, I want to say like almost three weeks, if not maybe even like a month um, because your body has to readjust itself to what it is that you're doing. So if you've been sedentary and all of a sudden your body's like moving all the time, you have to give yourself give yourself and your give yourself body grace for how it is going to feel and also i think that when it comes to working out um people think that you have to be doing these crazy hit workouts every single time um experiment with what your body feels good doing and what it doesn't if you feel better doing you know yoga um pilates like those types of exercises and you don't feel good running or like biking or weight training 
then focus more on what your body is responding to versus what it's not. And I think that when it comes to fitness, the biggest misconception that like I see, and I'm not a fitness trainer, I'm just talking about someone who like process of elimination, what I like doing, what I don't like doing. Um, I think a lot of people think that you either a have to go into like this crazy strength training or b you have to go and just be doing insane cardio all the time or you're just doing yoga and pilates all the time um i think it's good to do a mix but also what works for the person next to you might not work for you you may hate running and if you hate running i'm not gonna tell you oh if you want to get into shape you should go run every single day because you know what you're not gonna do you're not gonna run every single day and i think that when it comes just to like being fit overall um i think that one i mean if you're like seriously trying to lose weight then like yes you may have a scale but I personally, I don't think I've weighed myself in like four months. And the only reason why that is, is because I know personally that if I step on a scale and I don't like the number that I see, then I'm going to maybe fall into some habits that I probably shouldn't be versus focusing on eating right. Um, sleep is probably apart from like diet sleep is probably one like the second most important thing i think i can say when it comes to getting in shape and when it comes to working out um this is something that like my college coach or my high school coaches instilled in us is that you need to have like a consistent sleep schedule because what happens is if you are not consistently going to bed at the same time or within the same time frame, let's give you like an hour, hour and a half. And you're getting four hours of sleep one night, seven hours of sleep one night, another four hours of sleep one night, another seven hours a night. Um, your body is always like readjusting itself and it's gonna make it harder for you to balance your hormones. It's gonna make it um, harder for your body to know when it needs to rest and recover. Um, and it's gonna make it harder for you to feel good like if you're consistently working out um and that i think is an another key too and uh i think that it's also a huge mark that a lot of people miss and not something that a lot of people talk about um because if you know like all right i'm gonna go to bed at 11 and you're hungry at 7 then you know okay like i should probably eat something so I'm not starving when I go to bed at 11 o'clock. Versus, you know, we all have the habit of scrolling and you get on and you're starving at seven and then all of a sudden it's 11 and you were supposed to go to bed and now it's 1 a.m. and you're hungry again and you're eating again. And I think that if you are someone who you are trying to instill better eating patterns, sleeping patterns, working out patterns, um, don't knock like, making sleep and making sleep schedule a priority uh, because I'm telling you it will make a huge difference. So that's part of, you know, if you are trying to get in shape, get healthy when it comes to your New Year's resolutions. And I will also say to um, my advice, you can take it or leave it. This is unsolicited advice video for the internet. Um, is that people, I think, when it comes to their New Year's resolutions, don't give themselves enough grace. And I also think that people are really hard on themselves. And then what happens is, is you go and you're like, you're trying to be healthy. And then all of a sudden you go out and you're having a margarita and you're having chips and queso and you feel bad. And then you start to think, okay, well, if I did this today, then you know i guess it doesn't matter what i do tomorrow because i already failed today and i would suggest if you are someone who you have those types of thought patterns is that like rome is not built in a day um 
it's okay if you feel like you mess up. Like tomorrow is always a new day. Tomorrow is always a new day. But if you are serious about, you know, starting a project that you want to work on, maybe getting up earlier, um, maybe getting fitter, or you have a, if you just have like a general goal that you are trying to achieve, um, you need to have the mentality of like, okay, I'm going to work on my goal each day. And you know what? You might only work on a chunk of that goal each day. That's fine. But spending five minutes a day doing something is still going to get you farther than if you spent zero time doing something. And I think that in our society right now, it's like a huge comparison game. You go on social media and you have people like me, everyone telling you 10 different things on what you should be doing and how you should be achieving your goal. And I'm the type of person, and I like encourage my friends this, is just try, literally just try. If you go to bed at night and you said, you know what, I did my best today with the best circumstances that I was giving, then that at the end of the day is all you can ask from yourself. Do not compare someone's like day 2000 to your day one. And as you focus on yourself, as you focus on your goals, it's okay to pivot in certain seasons it's okay to change your goals in certain seasons and it's also okay to rest and that is something that i personally struggle with a lot because i want to do a hundred things all the time and then god has to tell me uh you need to just like go to sleep and i'm like okay i will deal with that um but I overall I do think that this I think that this year is going to be a big year and the reason why I say that is because so if you take 2022 right and you add it up it's six which is probably why it wasn't like my year because I'm not a six gal I just don't like the number six um if you take 2023 and you add it up it's seven and we know that in the bible that seven was a day of rest seven also means completion and i think that being said i think there's a lot of things that people have kind of been waiting to happen that are going to happen this year which i'm excited about um I think that, you know, we have to say like, man, um, man determines his course, but the Lord determines his steps. So knowing that I think this is going to be a big year, um, I would just encourage you or whoever is watching this, um, be, dil be diligent about um, setting your goals, um, be diligent about your planning and just i don't want to say go into this year with like a blank slate or like a blank canvas but i think it's always good to go into each year i don't want to say like not expecting a lot um but more so expecting that you know we're always are going to be surprised um there's always like something around the corner and um I just think that, um, I think that it is like in a way going to be like a big year of favor for a lot of people. And that is just something that I've gotten confirmation on a lot. Um, and I also think it's important with that being said, is that you you can only harvest what it is that you sow. So even if you feel like you are starting a new project this year, if you have like an idea, a business that you've been wanting to generate, um, you are, we need to be good stewards of like what we're given. And we also need to sow um, what we're given as well. And like, 
I think health, spirit, I mean, I know I need to be better at my spiritual health, like, too. I think we all can, but um, I just think that focus on, like, fine-tuning, um, I guess, certain areas of your life. So, look at, like, what do I think can be approved, um, what do I think I can improve, and just go from there. Um, but be expectant of this year as the cliche goes um the best is always yet to come and i will also just say remember that like you know you're doing better than you think you are even if it doesn't feel like it you still are doing better than you think you are and um blessings will never come without roadblocks so if you feel like you've been trying to do something and it's just been like one thing after another after another, um, I always take it as it just means I'm one step getting, I'm one step closer to what God has been for me. So that's my advice uh, for 2023. And that being said, you always know peace, love, blessings. Um, I am on TikTok a lot more than I am on here. My TikTok is the same. It's Olivia Eileen. So have a good day, fam.